Picture this, delicate strands of sugary perfection, meticulously crafted through a mesmerizing process that's withstood the test of time. Here's the full scoop on Dragon's Beard Candy. Dragon's Beard Candy has been around for a long time. Legends about this confection date back to the Han Dynasty, sometime between 202 BC and 9 AD. It's said that the name was coined when a Han Dynasty emperor got the candy's long, fine threads stuck to his beard, making it resemble the wispy beard of a dragon. At first, this treat was made exclusively for Chinese royalty, but it eventually became available to the masses. During the Chinese Cultural Revolution, the Red Guard made a widespread effort to eradicate traditional Chinese cultural practices, including making dragon's beard candy. But following the collapse of the Cultural Revolution, the confection reappeared, although it was less popular than before. In modern-day China, dragon's beard candy is once again eaten at festivals and other celebratory occasions. The process of making dragon's beard candy is as fun to watch as it is difficult, and confectioners who make it fresh in front of customers usually draw a crowd. Basically, the candy is pulled to a floss-like consistency using a method that's a cross between taffy pulling and hand-rolling traditional Chinese noodles. The confectioner first boils down sugar syrup to the consistency of taffy. Once it reaches a certain temperature, it's cooled until it can be formed into a donut shape. So I hope this comes out looking prettier than it smells. This is what it smells like when I clean my coffee pot. Then, while it's still pliable, the confectioner begins to stretch and fold it into a figure eight shape repeatedly subdividing it into two smaller pieces. After each fold, the candy is dipped in cornstarch to prevent the pieces from clumping together. This process is typically repeated over a hundred times until the pieces are wispy and hair thin. Once the process has been completed, the confectioner usually wraps the candy floss around a filling to make a nugget-shaped treat. But it can also be eaten by itself like Western-style cotton candy. Making Dragon's Beard candy takes time, skill, and plenty of cleanup. There are pitfalls at every step of the process, and even a small mistake can mean starting over from the beginning. Dragon's Beard is not just about pulling, it's also about cooking it, and also about preparing the ingredients. The first potential issue comes with boiling the sugar syrup. Sugar syrup requires patience. It needs to be constantly monitored as it slowly heats to the proper temperature. And as it boils, you have to wipe down the inside of the pot, or sugar crystals that form on the sides of the pot can fall in and jeopardize the texture of the entire batch. Furthermore, if you let the syrup's temperature get too high, the consistency becomes more like peanut brittle or rock candy, making it impossible to shape into fine threads. But the real struggle begins during the stretching process. If you pull too hard or the candy becomes too brittle, it snaps, and you have to start over. And you have to do this hundreds of times, so there's a constant temptation to stretch the threads to their absolute limit. Finally, having to regularly coat the threads in cornstarch can make a serious mess. When you factor in the cleanup, the whole process can easily take hours. There are two primary elements to classic Dragon's Beard candy, the pulled sugar coating and the filling. They combine to make for a confectionery experience unlike any other. The pulled sugar exterior is more about the texture than the flavor. The sugar strands are chewy and slightly sticky, making for a surprisingly dense bite. The mouthfeel is sort of like nougat, or taffy, except that the sugar strands quickly melt in your mouth to reveal the crunchy center. Since it's traditionally made from unflavored sugar syrup, the strands usually taste sweet but not too sweet. They can, however, be flavored to complement the candy's filling. This is my first time having it. A lot like coconut, and it feels stretchy in my mouth. The most common fillings for traditional Dragon's Beard candies are peanuts, sesame seeds, and coconut. That said, modern variations of this candy are made with more exotic flavors. Dragon Papa Dessert, a San Francisco-based confectioner, has sold Dragon's Beard candy with fillings such as mango, strawberry, coffee, and green tea. One confectioner on TikTok even concocted a Mexican-inspired watermelon and tajin flavor. Although Dragon's Beard candy is also known as Chinese cotton candy, it's not at all like Western-style cotton candy. In terms of production, Western cotton candy is made by spinning liquid sugar at high speeds to form cotton-like tufts. Meanwhile, the strands of Dragon's Beard candy are hand-pulled. Consequently, the textures of these two treats are quite different. Cotton candy has a lighter, fluffier texture, and it melts almost instantly when wet. Dragon's Beard candy, on the other hand, is more dense and chewy. And while it would eventually dissolve in water, 
It isn't nearly as quick to melt as Western-style cotton candy. Finally, cotton candy is usually spun around a paper cone, while Dragon's Beard candy is most commonly packaged in bite-sized pieces. However, the textures of these treats are often conflated due to the unfortunate nickname of Chinese cotton candy. Unfortunately, Dragon's Beard candy isn't widely sold in America. Asian grocery stores and Chinatown neighborhoods are good places to seek it out. Failing that, you can buy from an online exporter. One of the most popular brands is Yuin, or Town Dragon Limited, which is sold on Amazon, where it's sold in almond, black sesame, icy crispy, and popping flavors. You only get four to a package, though, and considering that one package is at least $20, this is one of the more expensive ways to sample Dragon's Beard candy. This is why so many amateur candy makers prefer to make the confection at home. Despite all the challenges that come with making it from scratch, there is no easier or cheaper way to enjoy the taste of fresh Dragon's Beard candy, at least when you don't live in China. Whether one buys it or makes it DIY style, every Epicurean should try it at least once, as there is really nothing else like it.